Hey everyone, what is going on today? Wanted to bring you a real quick demo on the Bear Hug Walk or the Bear Hug Carry. This is a great movement that's going to help us develop some dynamic midline stability. Uh, basically, it, to be put that another way, uh, allow us to brace our, and teach us to brace our midline while we're moving under a load, maybe with a higher heart rate, uh, is something of that nature. Um, this is a great movement to really um, kind of get us in a position we're not really comfortable with and move something we're not really typically used to moving. Um, our body's really good at typically moving a barbell or even a dumbbell or a kettlebell, but something this big and this bulky um, is, t is typically going to give us a little bit different stimulus. Um, so we'll demonstrate with a sandbag and we'll demonstrate with a medicine ball that will serve um, as to represent an atlas stone or a D-ball or something a little bit heavier um, like that. So to get started, I'm going to want to bring my hips down to meet the bag and actually get myself in a little bit more of a rounded back position. Typically when we're picking something off the ground, that's not the position we want to have. But for this specific movement, it's actually going to be what we're looking for. So to get started, I line this bag up just in front of my feet, probably in line with my toes. I bring my hips down to meet the bag. From here, you'll notice I get a little bit of this rounded back position. And that's okay because I need to be able to get my arms out in front of this bag. From here, I'm just thinking about standing it up to the lat position. Right there. Then I'm going to re readjust my arms and really cinch that bag in tight to my chest then extend my knees to my hips to stand it all the way up. From here, I'm squeezing with my arms, bracing with my core, and getting a little bit of a lean back. That is okay. As long as I'm tight through my core, I can lean back into this bag a little bit to get some leverage. But then from here, I can, I can safely walk it anywhere I need to take it. If I'm gonna use a more of a round object, so a D-ball or an atlas stone, the same concepts will apply. There's just gonna be a little bit of a different technique on how I pick it up from the ground. So in order to get this off the ground, I'm going to need to take and get my hands and my forearms underneath the ball just a little bit. So I still let it set up in the same position just in front of my feet. I'm going to sink my hips and get into a nice low squat and then let my hands and a little bit of the forearm get underneath that ball. From here I'm going to take it just up to the lap so I can control it. Wrap the arms around in front so I can pull it in tight to my chest, and then extend the knees and the hips so I'm standing up. Again, this is going to be a great drill to improve our midline stability, and especially when you take this, an object like this, heavy object, and walk it around, it'll be a great burn for your glutes as well as your, the rest of your upper legs. So I hope this was helpful for y'all. Take this out and give it a try. As always, get fit, have fun, and do good, and we'll see you next time.